Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 Lite and today I will show you how you can capture a screenshot on this device. So there will be two different ways that you can go about it. I'm going to show you the first one which uh, will be using the volume button and the power button. So we're going to start off by opening up content that, you, that we want to capture. I'll be using home screen as an example, so it's already open and visible. Now once your content is prepared for this, all you need to do is press power button, volume down. You'll have this pop-up uh, along with the sound, you'll have edit and share options and after a moment it just disappears. Now the second way of going about it is using your pen. As you can see it brings up this little uh, thing right here and when you tap on it should have an option come on guess we don't have more options here now typically we would have let me just maybe go through it done ah there we go so we do have it I just needed to go to the guide. So in here we have a couple options. We have Smart Select. I'm going to go over all of them. So we have Smart Select, which will allow you just to select a specific area, as you just seen me do. Now here, uh, when you do it like this, you need to press right here on this button to save it. Otherwise, if you go back, it's not going to save the screenshot. Now another one is... Where was it? Or I guess we don't have any other one. Now I'm looking for different ones because previously, at least on different devices, there is also a free select which will allow you just to like circle around something and it will uh, capture the screenshot cropped in the way that you circled it around. But I don't see anything like that in here. So it looks like we're only locked to uh, the smart select, which technically is only one option. Ah, there we go. So it's right here. Once you tap on it, it actually gives you the options. So I did select this one at the very beginning, which is just a, a squarish one with 90 degrees. Uh, but we have the free select. So right here, I'm just gonna kind of demonstrate it. And as you can see, it crops it exactly in a way that I have selected it. I'm gonna save it just for kicks. And going back in here, we go to the last one, which is a circular one. Same as the, the first one, this one just creates a circle instead of a square. Now, with all those screenshots that I have captured, you can find all of them in your gallery application. I recommend navigating into your albums by tapping right here on these three bars, albums, and this will show you all the albums that you have right now. And one of those should be screenshots right over here. And in here, obviously, you will find strictly screenshots that you have captured over the time. So there we go. Now, if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and thanks for watching.